Yes! AP and let's right, go. Show. It's like 45 minutes over time. We well, have look, a, it's not my we fault. We have a 15-minute show and a 15-minute time that we need to be following here. He said 45, and I thought he meant seconds. I was like, it's fine. There it's going to be okay. I've there done is this no before. way we can bring this together. We can't but compromise on this. Shut down, Adrian! Shut down! Everyone get it! Well, I guess that was old news. Hey Bradford, knock knock. Who's there? KGB. KGB who? The KGB are the only ones that can ask the questions. Okay. Well, I'm Bradford. And I'm Nick. And welcome, and welcome to, to show 18. 18. Want to save money and skip classes in college? Then listen up. AP packets will be available online starting today using the link below. AP exam sales will start the following Monday and cost $110 each. Be sure to pay in the ASB office and bring your ID and completed packet. Just like a computer, the U.S. government shuts down sometimes, but not everyone knows what that means. Here's Eric with some technical support. APN Technical Support, how may I help you? Yeah, so, my U.S. government just shut down last week. It restarted a couple days later, but I'm still kind of worried. Could you run a diagnostic test for me? Well, it seems that debates were made over how the federal budget was going to be spent. Funds for defense spending, the Children's Health Insurance Program, and the Mexican-United States border wall were some of the things disputed. The most discussed topic was the protection of young immigrants from deportation due to the rescindment of the DACA immigration policy. And the question is, what do we do? Do we provide them with permits to continue to work, we give them a pathway to citizenship. And there's some pretty stark differences. Is, is, this, the, is this going to be an issue held over their heads uh, in the future? Absolutely. This has fractured the Republican Party as, a, as an issue historically. See, we're also seeing pressure on the Democratic Party. So did that solve any issues? Yeah, but I got a new problem. My computer just crashed. At least it wasn't the stock market. This has been Eric. Back to you guys in the studio. Who are you talking to? Want to save even more money on college? Cause it's scholarship time. The New Vein Visionary Scholarship Award will be given to a junior or senior intending to pursue a career or degree in the creative fields. You must live either in the San Gabriel Valley or greater Los Angeles area and have a GPA of 2.5 or higher. More information can be found with the link below and the deadline is March 1st. When we think of sports, we usually think of things like football or basketball. But what about lawn bowling? Well, lucky for you guys, Jake's got the scoop, or should I say, the bowl. We were lucky enough to try out some lawn bowling for ourselves, and believe me when I say, it's a ton of fun. Lawn bowling is a sport for all ages. It's somewhat like bowling, but we bowl differently on a bias, and we aim for a certain white bowl of jack. And it's a way to get out and get some exercise and have some fun. And it's a very friendly game, and we just have a good time. If you're interested in trying your hand at some lawn bowling, be sure to contact President Steve Dowd or Treasurer Bob Harwas at these numbers or to email Secretary Anthony Luang to schedule a time. They're even offering the use of their clubhouse for a study as long as you can keep the noise down. Yeah, we welcome Arcadia students to come and play. We have free lessons. We give lessons, and you take some lessons and just start bowling. Join our club and enjoy yourself. Thanks to everyone at the San Anita Bowling Green Club for inviting us out. Make sure to come on down for a great time. Back to you guys in the studio. It's that time again. Well, almost. CSF applications will be available beginning February 12th on the ASB website. Don't forget to print your own application and turn it into the ASB office by February 23rd. Earlier this week, UCLA donated their time as we donated our blood. Let's go to Melanie for more details on where your blood is going. I guess you can say donating's in our blood. On Monday, hundreds of students gathered in the North Gym to participate in the annual UCLA Blood Drive. Upon arrival in the North Gym, students filled out medical forms before advancing to a screening session, where donors were tested for their iron levels, blood pressure, and heart rate. Every year, SMW partners up with UCLA to do this annual blood drive so that we can help UCLA give blood for their, um, their hospitals. Hospitals like Methodist will place orders for the necessary blood products, and when a blood match is made, the donation is transferred to a patient in need. One donation helps save like three lives, so thinking about all the lives they'd save with their one donation is really awesome. Despite the recent flu outbreak, the total number of donors remained unaffected, with 189 units of blood collected by the end of the day. We want to say thank you to all the donors who came and participated, and hopefully they had a good time, because our goal is just to like have them all be longtime donors. The blood donors' efforts definitely weren't in vain. 
Thank you for all your support, Apaches. This has been Melanie. Now back to you guys in the studio. Dude, do you see this notification? Didn't you get the memo? Nunez quit. AP can shut down. We don't have enough funding. Are you serious right now, bro? That means I don't have to stay after school anymore. Let's go! Woohoo! I'm just messing with him. We'll be right back after this short break. So you already got North in there, and you got West. Might as well go for East, you know? Tristan Jr. <laughs> oh, same. <laughs> Kiara, because everybody else's name starts with a K. Joey, if it's a boy, and Kristen, if it's a girl. I think it's gonna be Illinois, whether it's a boy or a girl. Caitlin. They're all pretty extra, and they're gonna probably come up with a name that doesn't make any sense, so probably something like that. Um, <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> Hey Apaches, have you been looking to relive some of your childhood memories? Well then you should come check out the Hello Kitty Cafe. They're located in the Santa Anita Mall. They have a variety of sweets and drinks from mini cakes and cookies to lemonades and espressos. Prices range from $3 to $15 and they're open every day of the week. So feel free to say hello to the Hello Kitty Cafe. Guess what? Your favorite snacks are back. French Club is hosting a fundraiser selling bonbons five for five dollars. Voices of Ability is also having a fundraiser selling lychee jellies for 25 cents each. Today is your last day to buy both of these snacks to munch on in class. Don't miss out. I'm sure that you've seen our school principal, Dr. Forsey, but how well do you actually know him? Trevor is here with a spotlight on an even deeper teacher feature. Shh. Hey, Apaches. I'm quietly sneaking into the territory of our school's principal. Let's see what he's up to. My daily schedule is pretty fluid. Um, that I would say there's no two days that look the same. Some days I spend a lot of time in classrooms. Other days I spend a lot of time in meetings. My free time I generally spend with my family. I have a wife and three daughters. When I do get a chance I like to go golfing but I use it as an opportunity to reconnect with with friends. Who are you? When you see Dr. Forsey around school later you can ask for a round of golf with him. Let's head back to the studio. Thanks Trevor. It's second semester now, so you've had plenty of time contemplating whether to stay in the classes that you've selected. If you want to request a level change from an AP class or drop a year-long class for a TA or office aide, the deadline is February 2nd. Be sure to see the counselor of the day desk for assistance. Last week, we gave you the when. This week, we'll give you the why. Here's our second installment of our environmental sustainability documentary. If general biology has taught us anything, it's that the presence of excess carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is pretty bad news. Not only are they harmful to breathe, but greenhouse gases also trap heat. Although these gases are vital in maintaining our planet's habitable temperature, even a seemingly inconsequential change can disturb the overall equilibrium of the planet. As humans continue to burn fossil fuels, the climate is projected to change for the worst. As the overall temperature of the planet increases, the smog will worsen, the ice caps will melt, and the abundance of hot, dry air will provide prime conditions for wildfires and tornadoes. Naturally, arid areas are expected to get more heat waves and droughts, while coastal areas are expected to have stronger storms and rising sea levels. Unfortunately, California suffers a lot of these symptoms. For the San Gabriel Valley in particular, the most prevalent issues are drought and smog. Anthropogenic climate change affects us every day um, as we see um, a rise in extreme events, we see increasing sea level temperatures, we see decreasing sea ice, uh, free-floating ice, you know, more earthquakes, any number of things that are affected by a warming climate affect us. Despite all the evidence piled up for climate change, there are still skeptics. Uh, human activity on the climate is something very challenging to do and there's tre tremendous disagreement about the, the degree of impact. Uh, so, so no, I would not agree uh, that it's a primary contributor uh, to, the, to the global warming that we see. But just because rain falls for a day or winters bring a cooler than normal breeze to our city, climate change is still happening. Even if it might not be easily discernible throughout our day-to-day -day lives. 97% of climate scientists understand that climate change is happening and human caused and has real consequences. The reality that we're seeing a lot of the impacts that scientists have predicted we would see, whether it's from increased storm intensity or sea level rise or a longer and more intense wildfire season. And those things are being felt right now, they're real. Our air quality, sea levels, food safety, and personal health are all at stake. 
We can either choose to continue our habits and continue to devastate our planet for future generations, or we can take this opportunity to step away from our current lifestyle, an inch closer to a self-sustaining planet. Bradford, look out! Bradford, are you okay? Um, I guess we'll go to sports. This week, most of our sports teams deserve a round of applause. Find out more about their ups and downs this week on Apache Sports. On Tuesday, girls soccer went against the Dynamiters, and let's just say, they blew away the competition. From the start of the game, the Apaches were ready for a heated match, but Glendale proved to be not a real competitor against our Apaches. Glendale's poor offense was proved in their horrible passes, allowing our girls to have full control of the ball. Throughout the game, our girls' smart plays and great offense were enough to outsmart Glendale. In the end, the Apaches' strong centers and loud communication allowed an amazing victory of 8-0. I think it took us a little while to like find our element, but yesterday like it just clicked and we were working really good together and everyone was on the same page and we were finishing everything that we did and I think that we've really come far as a team and we're only going to get better from this. We did like a really good job of connecting passes and like in previous games we weren't really doing that as much so I think this game was like a huge mark. Going forward we're going to just do way better. Our girls continue to rock the season with their undefeated streak. Keep it up, girls! Now let's go to Mia with girls water polo and Naomi with boys basketball. On Tuesday, girls water polo swamped the competition. The girls started off strong and took total control of the game from the very start. Arcadia was no match to Burbank as the girls continued to stall the opposing team. Number two, Lawrence Sargent shot goal after goal, being just one of the reasons for their success. Number one, Natalie Wassel blocked all potential shots leading Burbank into a dark hole. Ultimately, the Apaches had a huge win with a score of 11 to five. In the beginning of the game, we weren't making a lot of our shots and we kept going over the goal, but by the third and fourth quarter, we started like hitting them in the corner and making sure we weren't throwing directly to the goalie. I think we need to improve on hard shots more because a lot of our shots are lobs. We're starting to trust each other more and put more effort into the game, so I think we'll go pretty far. Good job, girls, and good luck on your next game. Why do basketball players like donuts? Because they love dunking them. Well, maybe not in this game. From the start of the game, both the Apaches and Indians played very competitively. We took the lead for a little, but later fell short to how aggressive our opponents played. The Apaches fought hard, but burned out to Burroughs' great defense and shooting. While we were able to get a lot of shots in, Burroughs got more, and they even got many open, undefended shots. Overall, the game was very intense and the score ended 61-70. to Throughout the game, we picked it up a little bit, but it was mostly up and down the rest of the game, so we didn't end up finishing out how we wanted to. I think next time we can just, um, just come in with a different mindset. Like I know we say this every single time, but it really changes when we actually mean it when we say that and when we come in. Because basketball is not just physical, it's all mental too. I think we can go ahead and do be a lot more aggressive. I think um, the other team executed, and we cannot win team, uh, games based on waiting for the opposing team to make mistakes. It's okay, Apaches. At least our SAT scores are better than theirs. This has been Naomi Silver. Back to you guys in the studio. Congrats to last show's winner, Mrs. Grubb's fourth period class for guessing last show's outro song, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. If you want a shout out for next week, be sure to comment the title of our outro song and your name down below. Also, we've received a lot of pictures for the backdrop contest. However, there's still a lot of time to show us your photography skills. We are still accepting submissions until March 2nd, and who knows, you might be that lucky person to take home a $50 Amazon gift card. Make sure to head over to our website, apachenewsapn.org, which can be accessed through the AHS website to check out our triple header live stream today after school, which consists of boys soccer, boys basketball, and girls basketball. And also be sure to check out our social medias listed down below to be kept updated with APN. This has been Nick. And this has been Bradford. And we will see, see you on the live stream. stream.